we have to understand that complaining is wrong. I believe it is a sin. Now, in this world, everyone is going to have problems. Everyone is going to go through issues. So stop thinking that you are the only one that is going through a particular problem because you aren't. You are not. Stop thinking that you are this special individual that should not go through anything because in this world we are going to go through issues. So let's go to John 16 and 33. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the expanded Bible. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So what is that saying? We are going to have problems in this world. So if you are going through problems now, it really shouldn't be a surprise. Let me say this too. When you do wrong, you are going to reap whatever you sow. So you may be going through problems because you are reaping what you have been sowing. Also, you may be going through bad things too because God is testing you. So keep that in mind. Okay, many people may say that they are just venting or they need to get this off their chest. <laughs> After all this time, you are still speaking about the same issues. So if this so-called venting has not helped you yet, why are you continuing doing it? It's all about me, 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 me. Get over yourself. That is the reason why I say to people to get over yourself. This world is more than just about you. Ah, uh, you know, I'm going through this issue. Uh, uh, I'm going through the same issue. Uh, you know, I don't know why God is allowing me to stop complaining. It is not going to help you. How long have you been talking about the same issues? Vent to God, not to other people. Because if you continue to vent to other people, this so-called venting, which is not right, if you are not careful, you are going to get that, you are going to give that spirit of complaining to those people that you are complaining to. It is demonic. Because, like I said, you are still venting about the same issues. Or whenever a bad thing happens to you, you quickly tell somebody, oh girl, you know, I'm going through this issue. Oh, you know, you know, I'm going through this. You know, I'm going through this again. Uh, uh, my life is just, uh. Stop it. Let's go to the Old Testament and see what God has done to people for complaining, persistently complaining. Do you believe that God wants you to complain? God knows what you are going through. Pray about it. What is complaining going to do for you? Only God can help you with your issues. Let's go to Numbers chapter 11, verses 1 through 4. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. 
And also, people, don't be manipulated to for people to get you to listen to their complaining. When you won't listen to some people's complaining, they may say that you are not nice or you are not compassionate or so on and so on. So they may make you feel guilty because you are not listening to their complaining. That is a form of control to make you feel guilty for not doing what is wrong. I really hope you understand that. Oh, you know, you are not compassionate, you know. You need to be more sensitive towards other people's needs. What? But the Bible say to not complain. Well, you know, <laughs> be careful. So Numbers chapter 11, 1 through 4, we are going to learn what God has done to people who persistently complained. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it. So when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. <laughs> okay. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. So, God got mad because of what? Because people were complaining. So, the next time when someone tries to guilt trip you for not listening to their mess, tell them that God gets angry or displeased when they complain. So, it is not about being compassionate or caring or loving, blah, blah, blah. It is about pleasing God, not displeasing Him. Okay. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. So, the nation of Israel were complaining. So what did God do? He sent a fire and burnt some folks up. As you can see here. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. So they asked Moses, hey, ask God to stop killing us, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so Moses prayed and the fire stopped. Three. And he called the name of the place Tabera, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them, as you can see here. Verse 4. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting. And the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? So in the beginning they were complaining. God killed many with fire. So they asked Moses to pray to God to stop it. So Moses prayed and God stopped. Okay, verse 4. They started to complain again. <clears throat> what is going on? They have not learned their lesson, obviously. So as you can see here, God is not with that complaining. He doesn't like it. And if you are guilt tripping people for not listening to your complaining, to your mess, you are wrong. Big time wrong. Well, Kevin, I'm just going to do what I do. So I'm not going to listen to you. Well, hey, <laughs> you can do whatever you want to. But I am showing you scriptures, showing you that complaining is wrong. If God punished people back in the Old Testament for complaining, 
what do you believe he is going to do now? Perhaps you are going through the things that you are going through because of your complaining and your disobedience to God. How about that? So this so-called venting and getting this off your chest stuff, that is wrong. If you are going to vent, you pray about it. You vent to God, not to other people because you are spreading spirits demonic spirits of complaining to other people, which is wrong. It is evil. Well, you know, I'm going through problems and blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> God bless.